The knife tool is great for cutting through outlines that are opened or closed, as well as spilled objects, so they can be edited individually. You can use the knife tool for many types of objects, including applique and lettering. When there is an object selected, the knife will only cut the selected objects, even if you pass the knife through adjoining objects. If nothing is selected, the knife will cut all objects that the knife passes through. You draw the knife line with left or right clicks through the object or objects you wish to cut, then you press Enter. Objects can then be edited individually and reshape can be applied if necessary. The knife is found in the Edit Toolbox and you select the knife and I'm going to cut through all these lines with two clicks and an Enter. I'll select the Select tool and then I can drag a bounding box around the objects and move with the arrow key. And you can see that the knife cuts through all types of outline stitches. Next, let's, let's use the knife to cut through this rectangle. Now, because I have this rectangle selected, if I were to cut through other objects that adjoin it, the knife will not cut through those objects. Select the knife, and this time I'm going to use right and left clicks to cut through this object. Press Enter to activate, press Escape, and then use the arrow keys to separate the objects. These objects can then be edited as you wish. The knife will also work on applique, but in this case, you need to use Break Apart. After I break apart the object, and select the cover stitch, I have to break it apart again before the knife can be used. I'll drag a bounding box around the design, select the knife, and cut across the applique object, pressing Enter. I can drag a bounding box around the top part of the applique and separate it from the bottom. With everything selected, I can go to the Edit menu, not the Edit Toolbox in this case, but the Edit menu, and close the curve with a straight line. I can repeat that same process for the bottom part of the design, and now I will be able to stitch this as two separate applique objects. The knife tool can also be used to cut through lettering and create a split monogram, as you see here. One other use for the knife tool is to use it when changes in stitch direction are necessary for an object. In this satin stitch object that was created with auto digitizing, the satin fill does not lend itself to stitches that will work in this object because the floats are going to be too long. Likewise, adding multiple stitch angles to the object won't work because the direction would need to change in awkward ways. But by using the knife tool and cutting across this object and pressing enter, we can separate it into two objects and then apply stitch angles to that object. So by adding the stitch angles around the objects, pressing enter, and then adding stitch angles to this second object, we can get the stitches to work as they stitch around the design. 